probably the best nutrient right. you can bring into your system. Laughter. Yeah. Laughter, joy, Smile. gratitude. Sex. <laughs> but I actually, I have two things that I recommend for people, and including celebrity clients or regular people or people that are doing my programs. Two things you can do. One is doing a belly massage. It's really great to detoxify the organs and again, help you digest better, sleep deeper, calm the nervous system down, bring you into that parasympathetic state. You can do it with your hands. You can also do it with a little squishy ball. That's an, an amazing tip and tool that you can do regularly. Mm. Twisting your body brings out toxins. So you can do that when you're walking. You can twist in a yoga class or a stretch class. Um, again, breathing is phenomenal for overall health as well as vitality and energy. Um, detoxification, and that's the other one, is really learning how to detoxify your body. So we just have more toxins in our environment, in our world that we live in. Um, we're exposed to more radiation when we fly and we travel, going through airports. And I try to avoid those really scary like x-ray machines. I'm like, pat me down, I'm not walking through there. I avoid that. Um, but all of those little things, again, add up to the cumulative of maintaining that sense of youth in our body, in our system, in our energy. So there are things that we can do. Another one that I love is doing inversions. Some dermatologists say that doing going upside down actually does stimulate collagen to the face. But how many of us can do I that? I don't know. What do you think? I've been wanting to get one of those myself. Because oh, I think that would be you, know, you don't even have to go that far. As long as your hips are above your heart, that's considered an inversion. So you can do it on this chair, basically. Yeah, basically. You don't have to go like crazy. Oh Everyone thinks you have to do those wicked like yeah. upside down things. You only, yeah, you just need your hips above your heart, and then the blood is flowing to the face. So cool. circulation, detoxification. I have a quick question. I wouldn't do it at home. I don't want anybody getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it with me online. Yeah, well, well, quick question. You said, um, is there a particular direction that we should be doing if we're Yeah, exactly. actually, you want to flush it upward yeah. okay. toward the heart. Just like the I do have to say. Sides. I mean, if you do it, you can do clockwise, too, if you're going to massage with your hands. Is it clockwise really... facing this way or clockwise Facing this way. Facing this way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I just recently, in the last few months, started having lymphatic, a masseuse, a oh, lymphatic woman coming to my house and yeah, just, it's painful, yeah. but I did cool. notice a lot more energy, yeah. a more focus, mm -hmm. a lot happier. Emotional. Emotional, yeah. In the, in the and I'm not having that much sex, though. Yeah. <laughs> so it's definitely a little lymphatic. <laughs> Yeah. Stuck in our tissues. I always say the truth lives in our tissues or trauma gets stuck in our tissues as well. So. Another one of my favorite beauty tips is Sophia Loren has only used olive oil in her whole life. Oh, yes. I'm half Sicilian, so I remember my nonna would be covered in olive oil and I didn't know if I was going to have pasta or her hair. <laughs> 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 she put it in her hair and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> the little boy was like, oh my god, it's all over. I should be a hug <laughs> But she did have great skin. Um, any other questions out there?